Let's compare some heart rate monitors and smartwatches that you may have seen on my previous video about heart rate accuracy on the road and indoor. The accuracy was not the same in both situations and I wanted to test on a mountain bike in order to see if accuracy is better or not compared to a road bike. In the meantime, I was contacted by heart rate monitors manufacturers. They have sent me test devices, so I will speak about Kuspu HW807, Kuspu HW9, Fitcare HRM828 and Fitcare HW851. Some of you had requested the Apple Watch as it is supposed to be a reference. I got an Apple Watch SE2 and we'll see how it compares to other devices, not only on the mountain bike but also on the road bike as well. And otherwise, we'll get the Galaxy Watch 4, Galaxy Watch 5, Pixel Watch and Summit 3 Watch. In my test, I did the same tray and rode approximately at the same pace. Let's dive into all the results starting by the smartwatches already tested on the road. In my previous video, the results outdoor were not so good, but it's another story on the mountain bike. The Galaxy Watch 4 is completely off. Accuracy is at 20% which is not good enough to be used for serious training. The Galaxy Watch 5 however does better with only two spikes that have been dropped. The accuracy is at 5% which is good. Maybe there have been firmware updates since the watch came out and the accuracy has improved. Galaxy and Pixel watches are big competitors and the Pixel was famous for its accuracy. Let's see how it does compared to the Galaxy Watch 5. The Pixel Watch is still ahead of the Galaxy Watch 5. There is one spike dropped and one spike over the heart rate measured by the Polo H10, but otherwise, both values are very close. The Summit 3 had an accuracy of 18% on the road. Let's see how it does on the mountain bike. Compared to the Pixel Watch, much more spikes get dropped. The accuracy here is at 14% which is a bit better than the 18% on the road, but still not so good. Now, let's see how does the Apple Watch SE2. This is supposed to be the most accurate watch for heart rate measurements on the market. Here, the results are outstanding. This shows that it is technically possible to get accurate heart rate measured on the wrist. Except during the first minute, where you have 10 beats difference, the Apple Watch does otherwise a perfect job and gets an accuracy of 1%. The results were exactly the same on the road at 1%. Nice. Let's move on to armbands and see if some are able to be as accurate as the Apple Watch. As I told you at the beginning of this video, I got some optical armbands and a chest strap from Finkair and Kuspu. I will start with the Finkair HW851 using a valence sensor supposed to be more accurate than the HW702 that had an accuracy of 10% on the road. I did a ride in order to compare all bands together and here is what I got. The accuracy of each band is much better than with older bands on the road. Surprisingly, the Fitcare HW851 with a Valencell sensor is the less accurate of the three, with 3.9%. In any case, it is much better than the HW702 and Tick Fit, with a respective accuracy of 10% and 7% on the road. On this ride, there was an issue with the phone, and the first part of the ride got lost for the HW807. Both sensors HW807 and HW9 seem pretty close with a very good accuracy below 2%. Given this outstanding result, I wanted to check how it does on the road. The result is even more surprising. For this sensor, the result is exactly the same on the road as on the mountain bike. There is no difference and the heart rate matched perfectly with the Polar H10. Here the HW9 has an accuracy of 1.7% and HW807 1.4%. The HW807 is here still a bit better. Even on a downhill bike which is the hardest situation for the sensor, since the arms are always moving with a lot of vibrations. In this case the accuracy is 6% as you can see on the graph. It is not as perfect as for regular mountain biking, but still good enough to be used. After all these tests and analyses, Let's give you my personal conclusions. Here is a sum up graph representing the accuracy of each sensor. All these sensors, as well as recent smartwatches such as the Pixel Watch and Samsung Galaxy Watch 5, 
are accurate enough to be used for mountain bike riding. The best watch is the Apple Watch SE2. The best optical armband is the HW807. This is the one I would personally choose because the price, around 50 bucks, is a bit cheaper than the brand new HW9 at 70 bucks. The advantages of the HW9 is a more comfortable strap and a longer battery life with 35 hours compared to 20 hours for the HW807. Maybe you noticed on the chart the HRM828. This is a chest strap which was given to me by the Fitcare company in order to be tested after my first video about accuracy on the road and indoor. And this is very accurate as well. I may tell you the truth, it has become my favorite strap. I use it every day instead of my Polar H10. The reason why I prefer this one is that it is rechargeable, so you don't have to deal with batteries. On the Polar H10, if you don't remove the transmitter from the strap, the battery gets drained very fast. With the HRM828, you can keep the transmitter on the strap. You just have to charge it every 30 to 50 hours, which means once per month. In addition, the strap is comfortable and you have a LED indicating how high your heart rate is, and data can be stored locally on the device. Although I would have found better to be able to export the data into a CSV file with a companion app on the phone. The only point with this monitor is that it seems only available on Alibaba directly. I've seen no online store where it's possible to find it. This was a lot of information for today. I thank you very much for watching the whole video and I invite you to like it and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more tests like this one. Thanks again and see you soon. Bye bye.